Today, I want to look at the glow sensei. What I have found is that dysmania, in my opinion so far, has three different versions of a sensei. One I found to be more stable and straight. Another I found to be more overstable. So where does the glow sensei fit in? Let's find out. What I found is that the understable ones, if you push in on them, they don't really have any pop. Uh, they do, like I said, feel a bit more gummy, uh, more sticky. The more stable ones are a bit domier. They make that nice little pop and out of the bag and for quite a long time, they, uh, they fly extremely more overstable. The glow, it seems to be as overstable than the more overstable senseis. On Heiser, the stable sensei doesn't really fly much less stable than the overstable Domi one. And the glow sensei seems to fly the same way. So we're gonna see what this thing looks like to fly through a straight gap. All right, so the question for me was, what do I need this for? I'm not a glow guy, I suck at night I, when I can't see what I'm throwing at. For some of you, glow is your thing and I will always lose. But for me, I have a flippy and a very stable, overstable sensei. And so where was this gonna fit in? Is this worth buying? Is it worth the extra $5? For me, these stable ones seem to be what Dismania had produced first. Um, I haven't been able to find many recently. These, these flat, more gummy, straight ones seem to be what I find a lot more of now. So the overstable ones are a lot more of a rare commodity for me. And this seems to be just as, if not more stable than my overstable sensei. So for me, it won't be used as a glow disc, although I can. I'm going to use it as a very good looking overstable putter and it can handle a lot of torque which is what I like. So if you have any thoughts about those senseis or other good throwing putters, make sure to let me know. <laughs>